Hey Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui after sunset. I'm sorry we don't have all the beautiful, but the ocean's right behind me and it's a beautiful evening. So I want to talk to you about your inner coach and this is really an important part of you to develop if you haven't already for your recovery. Uh, it's kind of like being your best friend, but it's actually, you know, we have an inner critic in us and I know for me, my inner critic would beat me up a lot, especially in recovery and when I was down, it was the worst. And that didn't help me at all in recovery. So it's really important to tap into our inner coach and begin to develop that part of us where we can encourage ourselves and uh, challenge ourselves when that's appropriate and to support ourselves. Because in this journey, it's really important to have inspiration, motivation, and sometimes we can't get that outside of ourselves and we need to be that for ourselves. So just a thought, what are the thoughts going on in your head? What is the self-talk? Is it building you up or is it tearing you down? And I wanna encourage you to designate an inner coach. You could even have a, you know, pick someone if you'd like and just hear their voice talking to you. Or uh, like for me, a lot of times I use my 20 year old self as my inner coach because she was adventurous and she wasn't scared of anything and she was ready to live, right? And so I let her coach me on certain things like you can do this look at what you've already done and, and you can go forward so um, tap into that inner coach it's been a real uh, healing mechanism for me and I just think it's such an important part to build our spirits to keep ourselves on the right track and so a lot of it is just becoming aware of our thoughts and what we're saying to ourselves and then changing it from the inner critic to the inner coach there's a movie I saw, Adrift, and it really demonstrated this concept. And if you don't want, if you've seen it, you can listen to this. And if you don't care about getting a spoiler, then go ahead and hear it. Because it's a story about, a, it's a true, based on a true story about a man and woman who were sailing the globe. And basically, they hit a storm and they got off track. But um, what happened is that the guy died. But through the whole movie, you don't realize that because he's still on the boat with the woman and he's telling her what they need to do and that she can do this, she's strong, because in the movie he's injured and he's injured on the boat. And it's so remarkable because finally she has to let him go. But the thing is, all through it, he had been like her inner coach. And this woman, um, her story is true and she shared about how that even though her boyfriend had died, it was like he was with her on the boat. And so he was being that inner coach that she needed. And I feel like I've done through that, through this recovery is I've really accessed that inner coach to help me. And I just wanna encourage you to do the same. So, hope that all makes sense. Remember warriors, life's not over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.